Hello friends, in this video we will talk about X bar chart and R chart. The X bar chart is used to observe the process by detecting shifts in the process mean. Let X1, X2 to Xn be a random sample of size n and typically the size n should be greater than 10. Then the average of this sample is X bar is equal to X1 plus X2 to Xn divided by n. We know that sample mean x bar is normally distributed with mean mu and standard deviation sigma x bar is equal to sigma by square root of n as per central limit theorem. The distribution of the sample mean tends towards a normal distribution as the sample size increases. There is 1 minus alpha into 100% chance that any sample mean will fall within the range is the level of significance. Now case 1, when the population mean mu and the population standard deviation sigma are known. If mu and sigma are known, then above equation could be used as upper and lower control limits on a control chart for sample means. Conventionally, z alpha by 2 is 3, that is 3 sigma limits are employed. If a sample mean x bar falls outside these limits, it is an indication that the process mean is no longer equal to mu. Now the summary of the X bar chart is the upper control limit is mu plus z alpha by 2 sigma by square root of n. The lower control limit is mu minus z alpha by 2 sigma by square root of n. The central line CL is mu. In most of the cases we set z alpha by 2 is equal to 3. That is minus z alpha by 2 to plus z alpha by 2 is equal to 6. In case 2, when the population mean mu and the population standard deviation sigma are not known. In most of the cases, the population mean mu and the population standard deviation sigma are not known. In this case, we rely on the approximations taken from the initial samples when the process is known to be in control. For this purpose, the initial sample size should be at least 20 or more. Suppose that y samples are available, each containing n, typically 4, 5 or more observations. Let xi bar, where i varies from 1 to y, be the average of i sample. Then the best estimator of the mean mu is the mean of the means that is x double bar is equal to summation of i is equal to 1 to y, xi bar by y. So limits of the x bar chart when x sigma is unknown is x double bar plus minus a2 r bar where r bar is the average of the sample ranges and the range is ri is equal to xi max minus xi mean of the ith sample. Now r bar is equal to summation i is equal to y, i is equal to 1 to y, ri by y where y is the number of groups and A2 is the control chart factor found in the table. Now summary of the X bar chart is the upper control limit is X double bar plus A2 R bar and the lower control limit is LCL that is X double bar minus A2 R bar and the central line is X double bar. Note that the X bar chart cannot be interpreted unless the R or S chart has been examined and is in control because unless the process variability is under control, there is no stable distribution of values with a fixed mean. Now the summary of the X bar chart, when mu and sigma are known, then upper limit is what? Mu plus z alpha by 2 sigma by square root of n. Okay, central limit is what? Sigma and LCL is what? Mu minus z alpha by 2 sigma by square root of n. When mu and sigma are not known, then upper limit is x double bar plus a2 r bar and lower limit is what? x double bar minus a2 r bar. Now the r chart or it is also called range chart. The r chart is used to monitor the dispersion of the process. It is used in combination with the x bar chart to develop an r chart. We first collect the samples of size 3 to 6 from the per process and organize them into subgroups. Then we compute the range R and finally 
plot the r values on the r chart the distribution of the r does not follow a normal distribution and the limits need not be symmetric the control limit for the r chart is ucl is d4 r bar and lcl is max in between 0 and d3 r bar and the center line is r bar where r bar is equal to summation of i is equal to 1 to y ri divided by y and y is the number of samples and ri is the range that is xi max minus xi min of the ith sample the d3 and d4 are the tabulated values which depend on n the lower limit cannot go below the zero and therefore it is bounded by zero the summary of the r chart is the upper limit is what ucl is d4 r bar the lower limit is lcl is maximum in between zero and d3 r bar and the central line is r bar okay now the difference between x bar and r charts the x bar chart monitors the between sample variability and the r chart monitors the within sample variability now we can see one example of x bar and r chart table shows the thickness of a metal body produced in a machine as obtained from an 10 samples of size 5 so total 10 samples are there so it is 1 to 10 and total 5 samples are there you can see the samples total 5 samples are there each drawn at regular intervals of 1 hour draw x bar chart and r control chart and comment on the state of control now we can see here now the this is x bar the mean so 11.4 is nothing but the mean of these values similarly this one 11.2 is nothing but the mean of these values okay now, now this r is the range that means what maximum mean 15 minus the minimum that is 7 so 15 minus 7 it is 8 similarly you can see here this one 11 how to get this particular 11 so maximum is what 17 and minimum is what 6 so 17 minus 6 it is 11 so this x bar is nothing but the mean of these values and r is the subtraction of maximum value minus minimum value the sum of the mean that is summation of x bar is 122.6 and the sum of the ranges is 82 so the sum of the mean is what 122.6 so if you add all these means we can get answer and if you add all these ranges we can get the answer 82 the grand mean is what x double bar is 122.6 divided by 10 that's 112.26 so if you take mean of means mean of means the answer is what 12.26 and the mean of ranges so mean of ranges is what 82 by 10 that is 8.2 so the mean of mean is what 12.26 and the mean of range is what 8.2 now the x bar chart when sample size n is equal to 5 the a2 value is 0 0.5768017 so you can see here if sample size is 5 the a2 value is what 0 0.5768017 the upper limit is either x double bar plus a2 r bar so what is x double bar x double bar is 12.26 already have calculated okay x double bar is what 12.26 and r bar is what 8.2 so x double bar plus a2 r bar so x double bar is what 12.26 a2 value just we have seen it is 0 0.5768017 and r bar is what it is nothing but 8.2 so if you calculate this one we can get the answer 16.9898 and the lower limit is what and the lower limit is what x double bar minus a2 r bar so that is 12.26 minus 0 0.5768017 into 8.2 that is the answer is what 7.5302 and the central line is what it is x double bar that is 12.26 so already we know so this is what our implementation so we have to install a package qcc so we have to install the package qcc 
and we have to call this QCC and these are the data and sample 1 to 10 and each 5 so we have to uh, group the data and we have to call QCC where the type is X bar now we can see the output so LCL is what 7.53022 and UCL is what 16.9897 okay and the group sample size is what 5, number of groups say 10 and center of group statistics what 12.26, standard deviation is what 3.525365. Now we can see one point is beyond the control limit and we may assume that the process is out of control. And if you plot the data, you can see here, if you plot the data, we can see here so you can see this is the upper limit this is the lower limit and this is the control center line and if you plot the data we have seen that the seventh seventh sample that is one two three four five six seven the seventh sample is beyond the control limit and we may assume that the process is out of control because it is more than the upper limit now the r chart the mean of r chart r bar is what 8.2 and when n is equal to 5, d4 is 2.115 and d3 is 0. When n is equal to 5, d4 is 2.11447 and d3 is 1, what? It is 0. So when n is equal to 5. So the mean of range r bar is what? 8.2. When n is equal to 5, d4 is equal to 2.115 and d3 is 0. The upper limit is what? D4 R bar. So already you know what is D4. So 2.11447 into 8.2 that is 17.336865 and the lower limit is what? Maximum in between 0 0.D3 R4. So 0. So D3 is what? 0 into 8.2. 8.2 is R bar that is 0. And the center line is what? R bar that is 8.2. Now the variability is in control. No point is outside the limit. So we can see the um, R chart. So instead of here we have to mention the type R. So the uh, lower control line value is what 0 and upper control value is what 17.33685. The variative is in control, no point is outside the limit. In R chart, the we can see here the values are if I see here the values are within the control. Okay, all the values are we need the in between the LC and UC. So we can say the variety is in control, no point is outside the limit. And that is the end of this video. Thank you very much.